Wash your hands and observe standard precautions. Assess the need for medication, in this case, checking the blood sugar. Explain what you are doing and check the patient's ID. Hi there, Elma. I need to take your blood sugar. Okay. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Mm -hmm. Elma Jones, 2638. Thank you, Elma. Elma, which finger would you like me to use? Well, I think maybe the middle one. It's less sore. All right, Elma. Okay, Elma, you're going to feel a small prick here. Okay. Your blood sugar is 154. Oh. I'll need to get you some insulin. Confirm the insulin dose with the physician's orders and the MAR. Read the label three times, when it is taken from the medication cart, before withdrawing the medication, and after withdrawing the medication. Mix the solution by rolling the vial gently between your hands. When mixing insulin, always withdraw the regular insulin, which is clear, first to minimize the possibility of the regular insulin becoming contaminated with the additional protein in NPH, which is cloudy. Remember, clear before cloudy. Clean the tops of the vials with the antiseptic swab in circular motion. I'll use the example of mixing 10 units of regular insulin and 30 units of NPH. With the vial placed on a firm surface, Insert the needle into the center of the rubber cap, maintaining sterility. Inject 30 units of air into the NPH vial and withdraw the needle. There should be no insulin in the needle and the needle should not touch the insulin. Inject 10 units of air into the regular insulin vial and promptly withdraw 10 units of regular insulin. Reinsert the needle into the NPH vial and withdraw 30 units of NPH. Be careful to withdraw only the ordered amount. If excess medication has been withdrawn, discard the syringe and begin again with both insulins. Withdraw the needle and replace the cap over the needle using the scoop method to maintain sterility. Hi there, Elma. Recheck the I patient's ID and create here. privacy. I'd like you to please tell me your full name and date of birth. Elma Jones, 2638. Thank you. I'm just going to lower this side rail here. Okay. Great. Wash your hands. And I'm going to wash up my hands and I'm going to need to have access to your arm here so I'd like you to raise your arm up. Okay. Is this the way you want me? That's great, Elma. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, Compare the MAR to the medication to be given. Wipe the injection site with alcohol swab and let the skin dry. We'll let that alcohol dry and I'll give you your injection in just a moment. Okay. okay, Elma, I'd like you to take a nice deep breath for me. Pinch the skin and insert One, the needle two, into the skin at an 80 to 90 degree angle and inject. 
That's good. The needle's coming out now. Discard the needle and syringe into the sharps container. As always, document that you gave the medication on the MAR, including the injection site. I'm going to let you get some rest, and I'll come back and check on you in a little while. Call me if you need anything at all. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.